Okay. So, as the frame rate's better? Well, we'll see how well that... Uh, never mind, maybe? No? Yeah? Uh, screw it, I'll just download the video from YouTube, I mean, uh, from Twitch, maybe. I'll get whatever the stream gets. Okay, alright, hold on. Let me just not do my own side recording. Alright, we'll try it, but this is not gonna be nice for the... for the YouTubers, unfortunately. They're not gonna get the nicest quality. Okay, that's not, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, what... Which way am I supposed to turn that... I don't even understand the ploy angle very well. Uh, okay. Uh, maybe gear... Ow, ow. What did I do right the first time that I didn't... That I haven't been doing... I don't like these propellers. Okay, well, l l let me see. Well, this is why we aren't having any kerbals in the cockpit after all. Let's get to the bottom of this. Why is there a pitchy on roll anyway? <laughs> Confusing. Oh, I can say, okay, I understand why there's pitchy on roll. I'll take it back. All right. Power outage and your main rig is now updating. Oh dear. Okay, so let's start with 60 and I think we should go down to like five is my theory. And most recent prop planes, you don't have to manually adjust the prop angle either. I mean, yeah, early prop planes have fixed propellers and more recent propeller planes have uh, have automated systems. It's like this very tiny area in, in flight where you actually have to worry about the propeller pitch. <laughs> okay. Okay, which way is better? Oh, that's not good. Keep it, uh, uh. Sacrifice. See, now turning the deploy angle up would make me think that it causes more drag. Like 60 now. Most planes, you know, they have, they, they know what settings would be good for it and they just go with that and and then we have the automated systems these days it's weird having a turbo shaft engine basically a turbo prop and having to do this yeah no i mean It'll be easier with action groups where I can just press a button and it'll set the prop pitch to the right number, but since I don't have action groups right now, it's not fun. We can figure it out with testing and all. It's not difficult, but it's just... I miss Fire Spitter. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? All right, let's see about that island runway. Can I decelerate this prop? Oh, that was a heck of a switch to locked. Test stands? Well, I mean, how can you do a test stand when the, it depends on the speed of the thing? You know what we need to do? We're, we're gonna... Since the turbo props anyway, we'll put jets on with them. <laughs> Just so we get some sound. Little Junos. Later. Not right now. No, no, I'm I'm sure there's some... It does seem non-linear. Yeah, we'll add some turbojet sound. It's like those things that they put on exhausts uh, on electric cars to, to make sound. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We don't have communicate. No, we lost on the horizon issue. Gosh darn it! No, schmack. Oh, wait. We, well. Okay, so we're gonna need to put a little probe core or something to communicate there. 
If we're gonna land at the island runway. <laughs> I forgot about that. Well, first thing they need to add sound to the propellers. I'm morally opposed to using propellers without sound, but we'll see about the turbojet deal. At least that'll give me more time to adjust the propeller pitch to the proper number. Because right now, I mean, just figuring it out, I would like a little bit of extra time and the little jets will give me that time. So, anyway, for now, we have some space contracts. Uh, we need to bring green sandstone back from Minmus to Kerbin. We need to rendezvous two vessels in orbit of Kerbin. We need to plant a flag on the moon. We need to rescue Dorori from orbit of Kerbin. We need to recover some scientific data from space around Minmus. We have all these temperature scans of the moon. And we need to rescue Dottie from the orbit of the moon. So, do we have a pod that can carry two Kerbals? Um, we can get one with more science. Hmm. So, my proposition is this. We get, we go to Minmus with a probe. No, we go to Minmus with a Kerbal. Who will do science from space around Minmus and bring back green sandstone. And then we'll get enough science to unlock that pod. And that pod will be remote controlled initially. We will rescue Dorori from orbit around Kerbin. We will go to the moon with the same pod, rescue Dotty from orbit around the moon, and then plant a flag with one of them. And maybe conduct some temperature surveys. So, that is the plan. Oh, and... How do we go to rendezvous two uh, That'll be later. Smurf! Okay, is this good for landing on Minmus? Of course it is. <laughs> uh, yep, I don't see any problem with sending this to Minmus. Now uh, we don't really need the remote control core. We'll call it Smurf M for Minmus. Yeah, okay. We'll go like this. Oh, it's still got the Terrier. Should we use the Terrier still? I don't think so. Oh no, it's a spark. Okay. Hold on there. <laughs> Single launch clamp blues. Alright, thrall up. SAS on. We have our one solar panel, that's fine. Hello, Scottish Sparrow, welcome. Uh, we did some plane stuff a little bit earlier. But uh, we're gonna handle some Moon and Min Minmus business to fulfill contracts to get some science and money. And then we'll do more plain things. Off we go. Back over here. Back over here. Okay. Wiggles? Yeah, I don't have auto starting on this yet. They said they improved the look of the terrain, but I haven't really noticed it that much. Hello, Bluegill. Um, goes fine. We did some airplane stuff a little bit earlier, and I got my first taste of the stock propellers. Um, they don't have sound, which annoys me. Have you guys seen other people's streams? Do, do they get sound from the propellers? Yeah, well, the poles, poles are difficult. Poles are difficult, because the textures have to be 2D. Life doesn't have to operate that way, but uh, computer programs do, so... It is a degenerate point, or whatever you want to call it, because... Because spheres have a curvature of one. <laughs> They're, uh, it's gonna be a problematic point. Cones are bad, too. Plus and minus buttons. I want plus and minus buttons on these things. And I don't need to type all the time. Switch to Fortnite streamers? Oh, I, I can play Fortnite. I wanted to play Fortnite. We can play Fortnite here. I don't think I'll diminish the friendliness and understanding, but... 
Up arrow? Up arrow I didn't try. Oh no, up arrow does this. I didn't even realize the up arrow does this. Okay, let me, uh... No. Even if I click in the field, the up arrow doesn't do anything. The side arrow does. Plus, minus, plus, minus, no. Scroll wheel... Hold on. Scroll, uh, wait. No, back. Scroll wheel over the field. In the field, it already didn't work. If I hover over it, it doesn't work. Nope. I mean, uh, on this, the scroll wheel works. Let me be, just be clear. This this gizmo, the scroll, scroll wheel works and everything. It's just on the typey field that it doesn't work. Yeah, highlight the field and uh, scroll wheel. No, nothing. I mean, gosh darn it, if they're gonna copy a mod, they should just copy the mod. <laughs> I don't mind a little icon over here. Just give me the mod. <laughs> yeah, paying the mod developer would be even better. I did target Minmus and not the moon, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. We're landing on Minmus. This will be our first Kerbal landing on Minmus. Okay, so we also need to do science from space around Minmus. That's probably closer in than this. We haven't done crew science yet here though, so let's do that. EVA. Port. Keep. Data. Board. Uh, thermometer we've probably done. Well, recover we haven't done the recovery bit, so let's get that. Biplane, ooh, fancy. Triplane? You need to make one of those uh, really fancy ones. Um, where is it? Is it one, one more uh, of those planes that I don't know the name of, but I know exists. That's a good one. I mean, uh, there, there are certain options that are just... Not good, obviously. I mean, this 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 was a bad idea. <laughs> that one. <laughs> that one. That one's really fancy. Okay, we are in orbit. Let's get. Um, we might as well knock out that transmit one if we can. So um, I think we can crew report and transmit since we have... Oh! Electric charge. Wow. Okay. Let's make sure we're recharging. I didn't know it would take that much. That's why I don't like transmitting science. Because watching the electric charge indicator go down gives me a heart attack. All right, uh, EVA. But that should have knocked out that contract, okay. Did we do the thermometer reading here? I don't think so. Uh, I grabbed that for us, Valentina. Okay, so we need to land somewhere. Um, map. And we need to land at the Greater Flats. We could do all sorts of EVA stuff. We could, we're gonna have a lot of extra fuel in this stage. I don't know if we should, like, try and land on it or... <laughs> no, I think I'll keep it safe. I haven't even tried... This is... Uh, I just started trying it out, so this is... My first try with the Breaking Ground DLT, the DLC really. And I haven't used any of the parts in it yet. We'll find out together. We can probably hop to all the biomes. Uh, yes, while we're here. We'll milk it for its worth. Well, a little bit, until I get bored. Land and water elevation? Well, I don't know what the significance of that is. 
I mean, I think you mean uh, we radar and sea level. I don't know about land and water. It should be. It should be the same here because the sea level on Minmus is. Yeah, well, um, the flats on Minmus are the baseline. They're the. Whatchamacallit. That's the word for it. Datum. They're what zero is measured from, so it'll be the same either way. Yeah, well, you know, we can't really tell while I'm over this. We'd have to be over some fancy terrain. Not a flat. Basically, if your lander doesn't look like this, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> Basically. Landing legs, please. Well, the engine won't get crushed because we've got the fuel tanks protecting it. See? Perfect. Alright. Report. Um, temperature. Yeah, it's come to this, nice guy. It's come to this, but... It's because I still have a park count limit of 30. <laughs> That's why. I mean, of course I like... I like landing legs. I mean, you know, I want things to look good and legit, but NASA doesn't have to deal with a 30 part limit. They never said we want to limit it to 30 parts. Nobody says that. Nobody ever says that. Hard. We're on hard on the funds. 60% uh, payout, 200% penalty. Yeah, now that I remember, uh, Jeb was the first on the moon, so there's good balance. Hmm. Well, on... I don't remember what the... we'll just say Minmus. First. <laughs> okay, we still don't have uh, surface samples unlocked. Now, wait, uh, this is the lesser flat, so we can't pick up the... Hold on, let me just make sure we get the... Group the EV report. We can't pick up the rocks from this one. So we have to go to a different one. The green sandstone. Whoa! Okay. Okay, don't get too excited. We need you to get to that hatch without... No. You, you went too far. Okay, we need to go to some greater flats. This is lesser. This is other... That, that looks greater over there. It's in the dark, but I guess that's where we're going. Alright. Oh, I guess we'll hit these other flats, too. Well, we'll overdo it a little bit. So that we can slow down. Slopes are another biome. We could do that. We could have Val walk over to the slopes. I don't know if these count as slopes, but probably this is a good place. The importance of maps. Actually, while talking about planes earlier, I explained the complete lack of importance of maps, and then, and then they mathed me. They mathed me because of propeller pitch, and now it's it's math. Now I have to remember numbers for propeller pitch. Poo. Well, I'm sure the, I'm not the only one that explains Delta V, ISP, and these things. I don't even do it as often as the more tutorial focused folks do. DAS in particular. ISP? Oh! It's 
basically the number of seconds you need to burn a ton of fuel to get one kilonewton, I want to say. So if you got a little thruster that produces one kilonewton of thrust, it will burn one ton of fuel in that number of seconds. So the more seconds... You get the more efficient the fuel is, or the more efficient everything is. That's it. That's why it's in seconds. <laughs> well, okay, yeah. It does help to be able to work the equations. Great flats. We should be able to get a rock here somewhere. Do I see a rock around though? I don't see this green sandstone thing. Hmm. I hope she doesn't have to go too far to find one. Minimum? No, I did it on the moon too. <laughs> but again, I have a 30 part limit. Pistachio? I don't see any pistachio markers. Got everything but flags on. Uh, maybe, hold on, let's zoom out. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any pistachio here. Uh, it wants us to collect green sa sandstone on Minmus. Let me check that the Great Flats are one of the biomes. Hold on. Wait until day? You mean the pistachio only pops up during the day? Hmm. It says, Greater Flats, Flats are Great Flats. So we're in the right biome. Easier to see? Alright, we'll see. So you think that maybe we should have Valentina walk outside? We should have her plant a flag anyway. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing, Mav Twitcher. We collected one on the moon. Anyway, let's plant a flag. Val at the great, no capitalized great, great flats. Where's my pistachio? Okay. I don't want to use the EVA profile. Well, she can just stand out here. There's no risk for her, right? Right? I don't see any rock. All right, let's let's have her hover up a little bit. The rocks are pretty big. At least the moon one was. Oh yeah, there is a thing there, huh? But that's that's not the flats. Right bottom. Oh, we'll see. Let, let me go out, out to that, that one first. Actually, we can do a EV report here. Mimis is Lowlands. Uh, we're not about Doomsday now. Hold on. We're focused on pistachios. Why did it spawn in the Lowlands when it's not supposed to be in the Lowlands? Flats, greater flats, and great flats, they said. This cheats. And it's also huge. 
Uh, don't don't stab into it. Slow down. Okay. Oh, somebody suggested I should pin this and walk around it. Your Kerbin does not have. Yeah, but somebody said it was a thing that was reported. So lichens. Yeah, I know this is bizarre, but I can't really. Access it. Whoa, whoa, no, 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 you're not supposed to roll down. I didn't tell you to roll down. Why are you doing that? It's like she hit something. Oh, sorry, I'll move the, her window over here. Big ones need rover arms. So maybe this isn't the one then. It's, it's in the wrong biome anyway. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm gonna try and walk around it just in case. Don't go, don't, don't go tumbling again. Yeah, I know. Uh, we saw the one on the moon and it was Kerbal sized, so... Directly on it? You mean on top? Or on the location? No, I don't mind getting balanced. <laughs> this is good. Well, if I was in the habit of screenshots, I would, but I'm not. I don't post to Reddit. This is why nobody watches me. <laughs> Everywhere and nowhere. Maybe, maybe the prompt was wrong that they would be found in the Greater Flats or something. Well, I'll, I'll get lower, but... I don't want to kill Val or anything. I've done that before, by the way, on EVA. Well, I don't see it now. I thought I saw something. Oh, wait. Uh, okay. I see, I see a thing. Well, here we are. At least we got to it. I mean, it's fine if it's a challenge, after all. As long as it's not completely impossible. I mean, it should take some finding. Okay, pick up green sandstone. Chop, chop. Okay, keep. And it disappears, because... It's still Kerbal Space Program on Zister. <laughs> I mean, compared to using mods, it's just like, it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Yeah, turns into a science report. Suggestions what you should do? Well, it depends on what you've done, right? I mean... Most things? Have you tried mods? <laughs> My favorite thing to suggest to people is they need to make a B-36. Have you made a B-36? You need to make a B-36 and then strap a... Strap a... What you got? One of those lifting body planes on it. Under it. Oh, get, get it, get it. No, come on. Ah, uh, you got on the wrong side. Okay, don't climb. I want you to... Up, up, crap. Uh... Oh, we already got this from Space Lowlands? I don't know how we got that. All right. Well, we've still got 2,760 meters per second. I guess we'll do a little bit of hopping around more. Um, now that this stuff is in daylight, let's just go up to... I mean, we could have gotten the lowlands from the surface. We'll get that. We'll just go eastward and see what we hit. Oh, there's a remove part from symmetry tool? That's good. Delta 3... 
That's not what they're for. <laughs> That's not for Delta 3 clones, darn it. Anyway, you can't get 9-way symmetry. They don't do 9-way symmetry. Have they added 9-way? No, they haven't. So, nope. No, no good for Delta 3 clones. Too bad. You'll have to put them in sets of 3. Like you always had to. Cheats! Yeah, you can do 3-3s, three but that... No, he's, he was saying that uh, the remove from symmetry was for Delta 3s. You can't, uh, you won't be able to use Remove from Symmetry. You haven't? No, probably don't because of the way the sizes work, actually. There's another rock over there. I don't think that's the same rock either. Uh, let, let, we, we can go to the top of this thing over here. I don't know. There are a lot of little rocks. I don't know what biome this would be. It's not lowlands. But we're just gonna skip over it for now. I guess it's, this is actually higher than that mountain there. I think that's what we're targeting, but I don't know. Maybe that mountain's bigger. I overdid it. Oh yeah. Terrain, we can test that. Yeah, there's uh, radar. There are rocks here too. We can see some rocks over there. And those have to be pretty big to be visible like that. Oh, well, nice to have something for rovers to do these days. See, that's, uh, that's one problem I have evaluating 1.8, though, is that I have the two DLCs, and uh, the rover thing is a DLC thing, isn't it? Or is that a stock thing? You're using the rover to mess with those rocks, the big, walk, big rocks. Those are DLC. See, I mean, so, I mean... Seems like the bulk of the new features are sort of DLC things, anyway. But it's hard for me to parse out which is which sometimes, since I just have them all. Alright. Mm, let's do the thermometer first. Islands, seems like it. Nobody knows how to play this game. Alright, uh, I'm getting bored with this. Um, I can't, I can't bring myself to hop to all the Minus biomes and milk that, no I can't. So, and especially since we don't have an extra flag, so we're, we're just gonna go home now. We have Delta V to hop to another place, but we've got science. Let's go. I hate grind. No, I, I'm a... I never allow myself to grind. It just doesn't happen. This is why I'm still playing Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> Okay, and we'll probably, uh, this is a bit steep, so we'll bring it down with the remaining fuel once we get to periapsis. So, we're returning from Minmus for those just joining. Uh, this was the first landing on Minmus by a Kerbal. Yeah, the staging is off. Okay, well, I need some time to use the fuel to uh, mitigate our situation here. Eh, it's probably low enough. Yeah, whatever. Okay, all right. I usually hold on to the service module for quite a long time because in Realism Overhaul, the power systems are usually in it. So... Maybe? I mean, the, the problem is I didn't really play 
I, but okay. Oh no, the real problem is that the only uh, Kerbal Space Program I played with stock in the last few years, I always put stock visual enhancements in. So it's not stock visual enhancements. <laughs> I'll say. Let me put it that way. Hi in the beginning. We'll double check. I thought so. Uh, I see some mountains down there. Try to knock it to the grass side. No, this is not the part that we need SAS to hold us with figure. It's when we hit the ground and it's on a slope we need <laughs> SAS to hold it. I might be tainted by seeing previews of KSP2 as well, so there's that. Timestamp for Mimus? I don't know what that. Okay, but here, hold on. Yeah, it does look awesome. Okay, we are safe. We managed to knock it over to the Greenlands. The grasslands. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's see. Maybe I don't have it on. 426 science. Wow. Okay, I feel like we definitely need to upgrade this now. We'll figure out which science we need in a sec. Let's uh, go to the main menu and see the quality settings. Maybe I have it off. Oh, it wasn't on high. See, okay, so that was my... Let's let's do all the things. Terrain scan... But that would make it harder to find those rocks. But yeah, okay, let's... Should we turn on terrain scatter or not? I feel like that... Sh yeah, I mean... Because it'll make it harder to find the rocks. Okay. It was actually a tie. But we'll do on then. Yeah, we don't have clouds. Okay, so apply. Oh god, hold on. I'm gonna have to restart this because I've got a custom rev resolution. Hold on a sec. At least it's just stock. It'll restart pretty quickly. <laughs> 